Hello and welcome back to Yakuza 0. So, we are going to be heading out and we're going to go and visit Club Mars today because, well, we have enough fans in our club so it's time to go and ruin someone else's. Uh, I want to check out Club Mars. Alright, let's go check out Hino over at Club Mars. <laughs> Good idea. Let's get going. Okay, so... Imagine Hino's not going to be too pleased that we're stealing all of his uh, customers. So this is Hino's Club Mars. It's a little run down. Wow, it's really flashy. Yeah, it's a damn eyesore. Hurts to look at it. Hey, someone's coming. Thank you very much. Hope to see you soon, Tabata-san. Yeah, of course. I'll be back as soon as I can make it, Ai-chan. <laughs> Wonderful. I'll be waiting for you. Uh? Damn, did that? I did that deadbeat a favor and sent Ai to his table and he didn't spend Jack. Uh? Hino-san. <sighs> Who the hell does he think he is treating Ai like that? She's the number one girl of Club Mars. Aye, I don't want you dealing with cheap skates like that louse anymore. Got it? Um, but Tabata-san is a long-time regular. He mentioned his finances were tight this month. Cry me a river. If he don't got the cash now, he's useless. Businesses don't run on kindness to poor parasites. <laughs> I want you serving fat cats because you know what makes the world go round? Money. Money and more money. Oi! Listen up, maggot. We need higher end liquor in the club. And let's pimp out the interior. Use that gold leaf or something. Uh, yes, sir. What's with this Hino guy? He got another thing coming if he's that fixated on cash. Hi. Hino thinks money can solve anything, including how to run Club Mars as a business. So he spends as much as he thinks he needs to get more customers in and become a popular club. He's actually spent a, for a small fortune to attract girls from the other clubs. That's why the quality of his talent really sets the bar. But the girl who's the undisputed number one at Club Mars is I, who's been working there for a long time. She's the number one at Club Mars, eh? Did Hino drag her al in along a gold-paved road too? Yeah. No, she seems to be the lone exception. Apparently, she simply wanted to work at a cabaret club and just applied. The girl who walks off in the street, uh, the walks in off the street, winds up making more money than all the girls he spent tons of money to recruit. The irony of it all. That's par for the course. You can't expect girls who betray their clubs for cold hard cash to provide excellent customer service. But that girl, she seems so nice. She's cute too. <sighs> I wish a girl like that would come and work for us. Yuki and the others are a bit plain. Oh come on now, y Yuki's a very nice girl. What? Hey, watch it. You, you say that kind of stuff in front of Yuki and you're dead meat. Mm hmm. Eh? What's going on there? Oh. Do you know them, sir? Yeah. No, just two buzzing flies who need to be swatted. Here's another job for you. Go exterminate them. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Now, uh, let's go, I. Hi. Oh, okay. Um, are we having an issue with bugs in the club? Eh? Whoa, this is bad. Let's get out of here. A man who spends all his money on fools is all the more fool. <clears throat> what are we going to do, Majima-san? I'm going to take care of him. You make yourself scarce, Yoda-chan. Oh, okay. So I would guess that we want to get uh, Tanabata to, uh, you know, start visiting our club a bit and then that will attract uh, I to come and visit. That's my guess, anyway. Nice combo. Just start spinning. Uh huh. Just, yeah, keep spinning. Hi. Oh, I thought we were gonna have the. Oh, that was nice. Do that again. See, I thought we were going to have the bit where we grab his back. Like this. Nice. Get around the back. 
and over the top and then do it again well that let us dodge a thing there and we got him nice a little switch and you're dead as well Grab him. Throw him. Nice. Get behind him. No, can't get the move I want. Oh well, we'll just drag him over here and then I don't know, throw him into this thing. That works. Sure. Man, that was rough. Majima-san, are you okay? Oh uh, yeah, I'll live. He know from Club, Club Mars, one of the five stars. He ain't gonna be easy to get rid of. <laughs> Congratulations, Majima-san. We now have 1,000 fans from the Club Mars area. Right on. Looks like we got some momentum going. Hi. Yes, I think we'll be able to reach Club Mars' fan count any day now. <laughs> uh -huh, looks like we're on track. <sighs> Well, I doubt they'll just sit around and do nothing. Hino is bound to have something up his sleeve. Hey, let go of me. Oh, what now? Someone fighting outside? The timing is too perfect. This might be Hino up to no good. No problem. Let's check it out. So this is triggering because we went over two fan count barriers, I think. So we did the first one immediately links into the second. Uh -huh. Your eye from Hino's Club Mars. <laughs> We got scammed out of all of our money at that asshole's club. You gonna do something about it? No. What can I really do? I mean, if you're going to play, you've got to pay. Huh? Shut it. My wife took the kids and left me because of that damn club. You're a part of the problem. Yeah, time for you to fix it. Uh. Fix it? By doing what? Uh. What's all this crap? Mm. It sounds like they spent too much money at Club Mars and were driven to bankruptcy. What? Bankruptcy? Uh, they par party at a cabaret club until they went bankrupt? Hino certainly knows how to bleed a customer. He'll let them play until they run out of money, and when they run out, he'll loan them the money to let them play more. With cutthroat interest, of course. I gotcha. Pretty nasty business. Aye. Yes, that's why so many people hate Club Mars. Doesn't surprise me at all that that girl has to deal with something like this. Of course, the girls would have no idea why they're being targeted. Hino doesn't tell them how he's driving their customers into deeper debts with his loans. <sighs> Alright. Machima-san? Hey, where are you? What? Yo, you lot. Why are you making a scene in front of the club? Huh? What? We're busy here. Fuck off. <laughs> you surround a girl and threaten her. You ought to be ashamed. I'd ditch your sorry ass too if I were your wife. <laughs> Say what? Sounds like you want to die, I, I swipe. We'll get the shithead first, then, you know, kill him. Ah, <sighs> oh, what a pain. Alright, lady, this is gonna get ugly. So maybe you should take a step back. Uh, thank you. Die! <laughs> Alright, sure. Uh, I think we want spin. That seems like a good one to start with. Oh, never mind. Something like this. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now we do this one. Then switch. Grab. And get. Grab. And we gotcha. Nice. Grab. That was the wrong one, but that still works. Okay, get him. Switch to the bat and. Gotcha. Oh, that was underwhelming. 
No, Majima-san, you're just too strong. But why did you... What was all that noise? What on earth happened? <gasps> Who are these people? Have you been beating people up again, Majima-san? <sighs> uh, why'd you have to always assume it's me? Huh, guilty as charged this time, though. Uh, those bozos were making a rack in front of the club, so I figured I'd do something about it. <laughs> really? You beat them up just for that? Majima-san, you can be such a monster. No, no, that's not true. He saved me. <laughs> saved you? Uh, who might you be? Hi, I'm I from Club Mars. <laughs> I'm your replacement. What? Club Mars? Oh, what are we gonna do, Majima-san? She's from Club Mars. <sighs> oh, come on. Calm down. I knew that. <laughs> huh? You knew? And you still helped her? What, she's an enemy spy and this is all part of her plot? Aisan, why were you in front of our club? I... Oh, right. I had a message from Hino-san for you. Huh? A message? Uh... Yes. I've allowed you to exist out of the kindness of my heart until now. But I grow tired of your buzzing, insects. If you're challenging the five stars, there will be no mercy. It's high time I destroyed you. Let the tears of defeat begin to fall. That's the message. <sighs> well, ain't that classy. Well, I guess that's his declaration of war. <laughs> Fine. If he's got a death wish, I'll be happy to grant it. Hi. That sounds great, Majima-san. Let's show Hino that we won't bow down to the five stars. Huh. Sounds like you're starting to grow up here, Yuda-chan. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're starting to rub off on me. What's the matter, Yuki-chan? You're shivering, are you scared? No, I'm just pumped for the fight. <laughs> well, don't try to act all tough. That's not what I'm doing. <laughs> That's so great. What are you laughing at? You're making fun of me. <laughs> oh no. I'm sorry, I don't know. It's just... fun. Mm? It's fun? I... Yeah, everyone at Club Sunshine actually gets along with each other. <sighs> you think so? We don't get along at all, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice change of pace from where I work, is all. All the girls at Club Mars are wound up tight, and Hino-san really doesn't treat us like people. The way you three talk to each other, I'm really jealous. <sighs> There's nothing to be jealous about. Majima-san makes fun of me all the time. Don't confuse the cold hard truth for make me making fun of you, Yuki-chan. <laughs> well, I'd best get back to Club Mars. Hino-san is gonna blow a socket. See you later. You stay out of trouble now. Don't get attacked again. Majima-san, right? Why did you help me even though you knew I was your enemy? That ain't how it is. Club Mars may be my enemy. But you're just working hard there. You got nothing to do with the lines in the sand. Besides, I ain't jaded enough to let a girl get attacked right in front of me and just twiddle my thumbs. <laughs> I see. Majima-san, I truly wish you the best. I hope we meet again. She wishes us well? Uh. I guess so. That's why she's number one at Club Mars. She's cute. I wish she was my daughter. She does got a sparkle in her eyes. Mm? Hey, my eyes sparkle too. See? Look. Mm. Boy, it's kind of chilly out today. Uh. Uh, yep, back to it, I guess. Mm? What? Hey, see if my eyes ever sparkle for you again. All right then, <laughs> let's do a save. Uh, and then maybe we'll run the club. You know, the thing that we do because we're club runners and not a uh, Yakuza who beat people up, obviously. Hello. Majima-san, do you want to run through the, uh, do you want to run the cabaret club? Yes, I do. All right, let's do it. Yes, let's. 
Okay. So, ooh, new makeover items available. Ho oh, ho! Right. Prepare for business. Um. So we want to do a little cast on duty change to start with. Akina is out, as is Kirara. And in we get uh, Yuki, and possibly Endo. Yeah, it looks like we can have Yuki and Endo in here. Cool. So a little bit of, oh wait, oh Yumi needs to come out as well. She is completely and utterly uh, hating it here. It's all right. Uh, I'm just gonna remove Namiko and then stick her up into this slot just so everything looks nicer. There we go. So we do have a very strong pers one singular person on. Let's uh, see what can we see. What new items I got easily? Probably not. Uh. Ooh. Okay. Are these new. These might be the new ones. Yeah, the shoulder pad suits. Maybe. Can't remember. Was it hairstyles? No, it's definitely not hairstyles, right? Uh... Oh no, maybe this one's new? That one might be new. Maybe I'm crazy. Hmm. Right, anyway, we'll leave her as she is there. Oh, makeup doesn't make a difference, as we learned. Accessories might, though. Uh, nothing new there. Nothing new there. Be nice if it just said, here are the new things. Um, just seeing whether we can get any like individual ops here without needing to change anything else. I think that one's the... Yeah, because I think new is going to be at the top, uh, looking at how this is set out. Yeah, so I would expect new to be there. So if we already have the top option, then we know that it's not going to be that one. If that makes sense. Okay, I don't know what was new. I'll be honest. Something was new. Maybe the shoulder pad suit was the new one. That's fine. Um, special training. So we kind of finished her previous training, but it seems like we're still on customer service. So let's go. Maybe this is our final customer service one. Okay, ready for another round of talking? Hi. Yes, please. Huh? Wow, Yuki chan, you've got those batter battle butterflies all sorted out, don't you? Well, it's just you, Majima san. Uh -huh. Hey, we'll have none of that, thanks. All right. I'm the customer, you're the hostess. Same as always. Are you ready? Hi. Yeah, of course. Welcome to Club Sunshine. Yuki, I mean, customer. <sighs> we still ain't there. Majima-san, thank you very much. It's hot today. Okay, I mean, that's not too bad. Huh? Hey, Yuki-chan, you're looking cute as ever today. Yo, what's with the giggles? I'm trying to talk to you like a customer would. You know, I'm starting to suspect she might have a thing for Majima. <sighs> well, whatever works. At least you're doing okay when it's me you're practicing with. Oh, that's Oh, that's so. What have you been talking about? Okay, so we're, we're getting some progression through the lessons here. Mm. Hobbies? Yeah, I seem to recall yours was... Bonsai. No, writing in a diary. It was writing in a diary. All of these are things she's done, but the one she called a hobby was writing in a diary. Writing in a diary, right? Yes, that's right. Recently, Ah, that's some nice dedication to your customers. Way to go, Yuki-chan. Well, 
できることからコツコツやっていこうと思ってまあまだまだ全然ですけどねもっと頑張らないと<笑> Hey that's some good stuff right there Yuki-chan You've come a real long way Nice so first question got it So the club's come quite a long way hasn't it And you've been here since the beginning to see it all change はいそうですねフルカブって言ってもまだ働き始めて半年ですけどね私今年大学卒業したばかりですし Yeah, I remember when this place had three girls in it, including you? Hmm? So tell me something. Why is a girl like you working in a club like this anyway? So... So... Last time I asked, you clammed up like this. Maybe it's time you cleared the air. Uh... I... 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 I mean, that's fair. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? In this day and age? Companies are practically hiring bums off the street and you couldn't get a bite? Yes, yes. I was sorry for my husband. Well, from what we know of her, she has self-confidence issues, so I imagine that, that was the thing holding her back. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that kind of tracks there, so... Good on written stuff, bad at interviews. Yeah, just, it's the same can't-talk-to-people problem. <sighs> Hmm. They were clueless or honesty is a talent. We're not gonna put them down, we're not gonna say, oh, how could they not work it out? We're we're gonna try and bring her up, as we've done with other things. We're gonna say, hey, this is a positive about yourself. I'd say being unable to tell a lie is actually a pretty positive quality, Yuki Chan. Eh? Look around you. It's the times we live in. Everybody's dressed to the nines in their lies and vanity, trying to one-up the competition. But you don't do that. You just put yourself out there the way you are. Honest, almost to a fault. I want to work with people I can believe in. I'd hire an awkward girl who can't tell a lie over a bunch of smooth talk and suck you by any day of the week. いっぱい落ちまくりましたけど、結果的にここで働けてよかったな。Really?はい。じゃなかったらこうやって社交的に人と話せなかっただろうし、マジマさんやみんなにも出会えなかったし。そうやな。Well then, I'm glad you got rejected too. If you weren't here at the club, who knows what would have happened? So how did it happen? I must... I imagine you must have met Yoda-chan somehow, eh? Yes. I Interesting. I wonder what possessed Yoda-chan to roll up on you. あの頃は左と光るものを感じた。10年に1人の逸材だって。ヨダさん言ってましたけど。うん。おう。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
Yeah, I suppose it's not a long-lasting career, a uh, club hostess. でも、このお店は居心地もいいし、毎日本当に勉強になることが多いので、もっとここで成長してからでもいいかなって。Hmm, you can network here. You gotta get sexier or I'll work you hard. Hmm. I think we're gonna say you... I, I'm obviously not gonna say you gotta get sexier. That's not what we're looking for. I'll work you hard. It could be kind of jokey. Could be something. But I think the answer is you can network here. Try and give a positive way forward. <laughs> you never know. One of your clients could turn out to be a corporate manager. <laughs> if he likes you, he might offer you a job there, uh, right there on the spot. Ha <laughs> <laughs> And you know, if it happens in manga, it happens in real life. Everything that is written on those pages and drawn on those pages is 100% the truth. <laughs> Oh, have we f is this bad because we've made it sound like an interview? Hey, relax, Yuki-chan. Lay your best line on me. Oh man, you sound more nervous than a foreigner on your first day at a shady bar. Yeah, we should have chosen I'll work you hard because if we choose because we've made it sound like an interview. Okay. Alright, let's call it a day. Good job, Yuki-chan. You get enough sleep at night, Yuki-chan? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. A late night guest, eh? Well, now. I wish you the best. Well, then, Yuki chan, I wish you nothing but happiness. Uh huh. <sighs> It's okay, it's no problem. A bit of shame, I guess, but if you're happy, I'm happy too. Alright, and that was the wrong option as well because uh, it went way over her head. Okay, so we got a bad lesson. Okay. Well, at least we got a level up. Two levels up from it. That's not too bad. It was a bad lesson, but we still got the result we wanted out of it. Okay, we have a low number of uh, cast on duty today, but, I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. Let's open for business. Actually, can I check the club news? No. Okay. Let's go. Immediately coming in, we're putting him on table six, of course. That makes uh, no sense whatsoever. You know what? He's poor. We're gonna uh, stick Shiho over there. He likes beauty, which isn't um, Yuki's best thing. If we stick Shiho over there, we have Yuki available for. Uh, Richer type of clientele. Alright. Here, uh, we're gonna get him paired up with Endo. Again, he's poor and she's available. Right, uh, towel. Got it. Nice. Ideally, what we want is Yuki to be with someone and then just keep Yuki with them for the whole time. Oh, this one? Uh, ladies' glass. Ladies cool. Uh, this one? 
Yeah, he's not happy with either of them, so we're gonna stick him with Namiko. Like, same logic as before. Hopefully this person's good with Yuki. Average? Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. This one's gonna want to check soon. Oh, help. Menu. Menu. Cool. Yep, immediately we're just in. Quick thank you, see you later. Let's do some sunshine fever. Alright, pair him up with Endo. Nice. Lots of money coming in. Get the check immediately. Um, I'm gonna praise the girl. Yeah, get some recovery stuff there. Immediately in here. Uh, we're just gonna say thank you. It's all right. Check, please. Okay. Uh, we're going to praise the girl again. Nice. Cool. Or, uh, we'll pair you up with Namiko. Nice. I think we ideally don't want Yuki to go into, uh, like, the Sunshine Fever. Can you do the thing again? Sorry. Can you do the thing again? <laughs> Yeah, okay, got it. But um, we don't want Yuki to go into Sunshine Fever because we want to get her paired up with someone and for them to be there for a long time. Uh, let's we'll take you with Shiho. Alright, what do you need? Uh, that is an ashtray. Nice. Check. Yep. Quick thank you. Yeah, I'm out of there. Oh, what do you need? Uh, guest lass. Cool. Let's do some sunshine fever. Um, yeah, stick Endo in there. That's fine. I'm looking for another average one for Yuki. We don't have average, so Yuki's gonna be speaking to this one. Maybe we should have Yuki on all the time and just swap her off when we get an average one that fits uh, cute funny. I said could not seek guest due to lack of... Uh, that must be ice. That said could not seek guest due to lack of space. Okay. Check, please. Okay. Um, we're gonna praise the girl. She didn't fully recover, but that's okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm actually gonna swap these two. And then put Yuki in here. Nice. That's okay. That's fine. This one first. You need a lady's glass. Okay, got it. Uh, and then the check. Um, we're going to give the girl a reward. That's nice. Okay. Um, check, please. Okay. Uh, we'll give a gift. Cool. Keeps them happy. Um... It's kind of okay with either of them. Do a little sunshine fever. 
keeps them happy. They're not making a ton today, but that's okay. There we go. Let's take them in. We've only got 10 seconds left. Check, please. Okay. Uh, we're just going to praise the girl. Check, please. Uh, give the girl a reward because uh, she is uh, our star. Let's take Yuki in here to make him happier. That's fine. Yeah, we had less guests than last time, but we also had less people working. Like we had one less person working. We almost made the same amount, which isn't too bad. Hey, good. A couple of level ups. We got the uh, fan, which gets us completion points. Not bad. Congratulations, Majima-san. We topped 1,500 fans from the Club Mars area. Well done, Yuda-chan. Looks like our hard work's paid off. Hi. But Hino ain't gonna take this line down. Oh no, this is really bad. Oh, simmer down, Yuki-chan. Don't cause a ruckus. I can't simmer down. We got a challenge from Club Mars. A challenge, huh? Well, looks like we're finally going up against some head-to-head. -head. Wonder how that works. According to the challenge, it says we fight it out in a cabaret club battle. A cabaret club battle? What's that? No clue. Oh, no. A cabaret club battle? What's the matter, Yuda-chan? Pull yourself together. You know something about this cabaret club battle thing? Aye. Yes. It's Sotenbori's cabaret industries... It's Sotenbori's cabaret industries rare but terrifying method for clubs to duke it out. Two cabaret clubs compete by running their businesses and determining who made more money. <sighs> huh? Sounds pretty normal to me. Why is it so terrifying? The losing club. In the worst case scenario, the losing club has to close up shop. Seriously? A cabaret club battle puts the club's prestige on the line. The losing club will be branded as a loser and their reputation will be ruined. Fans will drift away. As a result, many clubs being forced to close. Really? So this so-called battle has that much influence? Yes, it does in Sosembori. There are many customers who choose a club based on the results of a recent battle. The five stars have built their power by defeating their competition in cabaret club battles and shutting them down. And now we might be next. <sighs> so the gist of it is that this battle is so important, you could shut down the whole club, eh? Majima-san, you're gonna accept Hino's challenge, right? Uh. Uh, yeah, I was gonna. But maybe we better talk about that a little more, you know? If you got any reason you want to back it down, Yuda-chan. To be honest, I don't want to lose Club Sunshine. Yeah, I hear you. But, if we back down now, there will be no future for Sosembori's cabaret clubs. Majima-san. Huh? Yeah? Let's do it. We'll do the cabaret club battle. We can't let the five stars continue the reign of terror. Yuda chan <laughs> If we're gonna do this, we're doing it to win. I might not be much help, much help but I'll do my best. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> I'll help. I'll work as much as my salary can cover. Uh, that would be no different than any other day, wouldn't it? Club Mars is a powerful opponent. Let's make sure to sort out the staff lineup and get ready before we do this. Okay, you can now choose to battle against Club Mars in the Cabaret Club Management menu. It also implied we should maybe get a few more, uh, you know, members of the club before we do that. So let's leave. And go see uh, Bob again. What? A pager? Six five eight one zero and two nine make dragon tiger and equipment. Something must have come in. Oh, it's that thing, right? Yeah, so that's over here. Okay, so we kind of want to head down this way. Yeah, cool. Oh, I can actually buy this now. Toughness ZZ. Cool. Right. Continue running round. Right, in here. And let's exchange our completion points. Hey, 
Excuse me? Yeah. You work at Club Sunshine, right? My name's Psycho. I'd love to work at your club. Psycho-chan, huh? You seem like you'd be really popular at our club. We'd love to have you. Gold hostess. Cool. That's not bad. Hey. Step off. What's he gonna say? Dickwads like you drive me freaking nuts. Scram. You serious? You're gonna get your ass kicked up and down the street. Just keep spinning around like this. Seems to work. Nice. And get him. I love the old lady just walking through the center like, I don't care, this ain't my problem. These youngins and they're fighting. I'm not having any of it. Gotcha. Right, and we got a toughness Z, which we no longer have enough space for. Uh, let's put away one of our toughness Zs, probably. Right, in here. Belong to the save point. There we are. Save. And then, we're looking... I was hoping to just walk past him, but I guess not. Now we're looking at going back to the uh, club to get something to eat. Ow. Wow, they do not move, huh? There we go. Now we're now we're better. All right, round here. This at least gives us some damage, knocks him down. Round here. Not that. Okay, so let's try the mini combo. There we go. That seemed to work. You know what? Hello. Right. Get out of the way. So, solid run along the street. We're looking to go across the bridge. Uh, and that'll guess where we're going next. So, all the way along here. It's a bit of a run. We'll get there eventually, though. And then... in here. Hello. Hi. A huge stadium rises above rows of brick houses, but under its shadow encountered a shady individual. He beckoned me to follow him. In luck we trust, negotiation comes down to coin toss. Resounding success. Mission went even better than hoped. So we got a torn sleeve surcoat, four firework shells, and then secret wallet, contact lenses, comfy soles, and an iron pipe. Cool. Let's have a look at what we actually got there then. Oh, I also missed that we have these now. Let's equip our iron pipe. We got a secret wallet. Oh, none of that's something we can equip. Uh, that says comfy, of course, not comfy, as I was originally saying. Um, I think this is the one we want, looking at those things. Cool. That seems good to me. Hey. I need an equipment search. So we've already been to the soccer stadium once, but we have a lot more money now. Let's go back to the UK. We're going to go for an underground operation. Uh, I'm going to go send uh, an, orchestra, uh, an orchestra conductor. Uh, we'll give him 1 million yen to spend. It's not bad. Yeah. Might get us a stun gun. 
You never know. Cool. What? I forgot to check her coat as well. Because in theory, we got a new thing there. Wait, no, we didn't. Okay. So what's the surcoat we, we picked up? Oh, maybe it was just the recipe. I think I maybe just picked up the recipe. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, wait, or is it something that they now sell? Hello. No, I don't want to buy that or that. Right. Yeah, so she sells a bunch of those things. Binding. Manga magazine. Uh, as a... What, as armor? Okay, that's weird. Uh, yeah, this one would probably be pretty good. If I find out what the thing is, that specific one that we saw there. Uh... No. I don't know what it is. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, um... So, these are separate categories. 733 or 998. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy that. Yeah, you can also craft if we wanted to. Uh, let's see. Seeing whether the other thing, what, was that in crafting? Oh, wait. Maybe I wanted to be in buy? Oh, it's the same thing? Oh, you can either craft it or buy it. I see. I understand now. Right. So now we have that, which should give us a lot more defense. Well, and, you know, damage, which is good. I think it gives us damage unless those are defense characteristics. Like, there's base defense plus you get extra against firearms or something. Anyway, back along here. Uh, and I probably want to go to the club again, to be honest. Although, you know what we want to do? We want to go speak to that girl outside the arcade while I still remember that she exists. Okay. Just chill. You won't be able to see me from the other side of a bike. We, we, we got past him. We got past him. Let's go. You back, kiddo? I told you it's dangerous to hang around here alone. Uh. Hey, sir. How about you drop the sir thing, huh? Now, what's uh, got you hanging around here now? Come on now, speak up when someone asks you a question. I'm looking at the blue chestnut, the squirrel doll. What? Now it's the blue one you got your eyes on? Uh. Yeah. The blue chestnut is super cute, too. If you say so, so you got your heart set on that now. Uh, no, you got me the one the other day, and I'm happy to have it. I'm not greedy. I don't have a daddy. My mommy is at work all the time, and she says there's no money for frivolous things, so I just want to come look at it. Mm, well, you ought to head home soon. Don't want your mom worrying about you, do you? Uh, I know. I just want to look at it a little longer. Then I'll go home. Every second you stick around this part of town, you risk too much, kiddo. <sighs> Only way to keep her safe is to grab that blue squirrel when I get a chance. Oh, Pager's already there? Almost quick. Oh, okay. Well, let's get the blue squirrel for the little girl. Can I hear a... ping? Yeah. It's I, Hanada, again. <laughs> blue chestnut the squirrel. It must be the one with the blue hat. Insta lock, we got it. No question about it. Well, I mean, we were pretty much as close as we could be. That's fine. That's too far, I think, but let's try it. Hoping to get it in the center bit there. I don't think I put it too far enough on the uh, 
Now, one of the axes says I didn't go far enough, so we want to go like full length. That was actually the right length horizontally, but not the right length vertically. Put it that way. I think we gotta go all the way here. Let's try this. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad to me. It's gonna be lopsided, but I mean. <laughs> no issue. All the way across, grabbed by the nuts. Pun intended. No! We've got him up against the back. It's so difficult to get him. Okay, let's try this. Oh, yeah, we moved them. Okay, we have a chance now. A little bit further. Across and stop. That was too early. Or was it? Yeah, it was too early, but at least we moved them. You can kind of half cancel it if you put in a new coin, which is good. That, I think, has got a chance of being good. That's as far as I can go, by the way. Okay. No, yes. Right, we turned it around the correct way for getting it. Let's try this now. That looks good. That looks very positive. No! It's like this game is rigged. You can't skip it if you're if you still have coins in. You can only skip it if you're uh, like waiting for it to come back. Okay. There we go. That was a good bounce. That gives us a lot more space to work with. That, I think, is good. Yeah, we got it. It's hooked in the tail. There's nothing that can possibly go wrong now. Chestnut, the squirrel. Hello. What, you still staring at that chestnut and squirrel doll? Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah, I am. I have one of those blue chestnut and the squirrel dolls now. Maybe I ought to give it to her? Why shouldn't I? No, okay. Right. I did that joke already. Luke, here's a blue chestnut and the squirrel. Whoa! It's like a blue... It's a blue chestnut and the squirrel. Uh, you take care of them. Squirrels ain't my thing. Really? I can't believe it. Everyone's going to be so jealous when I show them at school tomorrow. Jealous of that little thing? <sighs> yeah. The other kids always talk about their daddies buying them dolls, and they show them to each other. I get left out whenever that happens, but now I'll have something to talk about. <laughs> I'm glad for you, scamp. I ain't your daddy. <sighs> hmm. I wouldn't really know, but don't daddies buy things for kids? I suppose it depends, but that's a dad thing, yeah. I knew it. So, if I did have a daddy, he'd be kind of like you, right? Huh? How'd you figure? Because you gave me two dolls. Uh, I did, but... See? And you look old enough to be a daddy, so now you're just like a daddy to me. How old's this kid think I am? I wish that you could be my real daddy, sir. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know that ain't gonna happen, right? Well, I can just call you... Can I just call you daddy then? Say what? 
Oh, you don't want me to? My choices are sir or daddy, huh? Ain't too fond of either, but what's the right play here? Insist on Majima-san. Huh? You gotta show respect to your elders. How about using my proper name, Majima-san? Majima-san? Yeah. That's better. Oh no, that squirrel looks menacing. Bah, now I went her feelings. Why is this gonna be so damn hard? <sighs> uh, call me whatever you want, I don't care. Really? Yay, I like daddy best then. I'm getting some mixed feelings here, kiddo. Yeah, best get back to your mom. <sighs> okay, bye, daddy. You take care on your way home. Well, that was weird. Uh, hi, I wish to play Space Harrier. <laughs> hi, Majima-san, I hope you're enjoying yourself. Yes, I wish to play Space Harrier. Thank you. I don't know how to play Space Harrier, I've forgotten. But, at the same time, I want to play Space Harrier. Fire. Okay. Rapid fire. Switch screen type. What? Fly. Eh, I'll work it out. I've inserted my money. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Oh my lord. There we go. Sorry, it's very loud. Keep going. Yeah, this one down here, in the corner, it is very, very loud. I can actually fire quicker than rapid fire if I spam the fire key. That's good to know. Got it. And here. Sorry, trees need to go. Hey, dragon, what's up? Keep dodging. I assume we have to hit this thing. Yeah, I'm also getting sc score for just dodging, so maybe I just dodge. Oh, it changed color. Yeah, it all goes quickly as you spam the button. No! Get ready. Keep going. They change color. Wanna move to the last second here. No! And again. Get ready! You're doing great! Bring Giza! I beat the boss! Okay. What? What's the weird face patrol doing here? Okay. About to beat my all time high score. I think we're dead, dead. Yep, we are dead, dead. We are going to be called, um, oh, right, yeah, the score below is our score. G, M, dot, end. Get out of here. Yes. Right, girl, speak to me. Boy, you must sure like this game, Majima-san. Uh, yep, I can still do better, I can feel it. Haha, I think I'll be able to get a good score soon. Just you wait and see. Uh, looking forward to it.
Okay. So, I think that she's likely going to be one of the people who can be at our club. It's that little girl again. Well, you know, that's, that's a real shame, little girl, because it's time for us to save the game. Uh, you're too creepy to live. What, what, what are you doing? Just, no. Right. Save the game. There we go. And with that save, I am going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.